and welcome to El Museo del Barrio's 42nd Annual Three Kings Day Parade and Celebration. I'm Rina Valentin from La Reina del Barrio and together with East Harlem Culture Collective, we're going to take over their Facebook page, that's right, and give you a live on the scene perspective and the keyword being live, so it may be live on the scene and sometimes behind the scene for those of you who are unable to attend in person and of course for those of you who reside on the other side and or around the world. So um, I got my script here uh, via face uh, my uh, iPhone or my smartphone I should say and of course I just lost it and so <laughs> We're going to jump right into the uh, Museo de Barrios uh, theme, which is Advocacy in Action. And there goes a hand, handing me my script as a backup. And, so um, this is my first time attending this uh, annual tradition, so it's really going to be an experience for us together. So in essence, we're experiencing this together. And uh, going back to the Advocacy in Action theme, it's inspired by Dr. Sonia Nieto's um, keynote at Hunter College and I just wanted to make a note of that because advocacy in action is mirrored in El Museo's uh, inception as a place created to uh, well educate, empower and um, social justice for Latino and the um, Latin communities, Latin American communities that is. And um, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> I encourage you to join me as we um, explore Take, making this theme come into fruition and taking it in action and, uh, and we're going to learn a little bit about the Three Kings customs and meet some of the honorees and maybe, maybe I'll even ride a camel. You're going to have to stick around to, and see and wait for that. So I believe one of our uh, first honorees are here. Oh my gosh. Guys, we need to see these amazing costumes that were designed by Emilio Sosa. Um, and our first honoree is uh, going to be the <laughs> seven-time Emmy winner, former Telemundo News anchor Jorge El Ramos. And I'm looking at him as I'm, I'm <laughs> introducing him because, of course, you know, he looks amazing. Jorge, did you, do you Absolutely. mind joining us? Yeah, all right. Hello. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can. Uh, Are you sitting in the seat? Yay! Oh, oh my gosh. Hey, side applause. Look at this amazing costume. Isn't that wonderful? Huh? Beautiful. Emilio Sosa. Emilio Sosa. So tell me, how do you feel wearing this today? Well, first of all, you know, it's, it's an honor, you know, that they recognize uh, the job that I have done uh, at Telemundo 47 for almost four decades. Cuarenta años. Wow. You don't look it. Cuarenta You look 40. How about that? <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> you, must have been doing, you must have been doing this since you were a baby, huh? <laughs> 40 años reportando las noticias, you know, you're reporting the news of the day, events of uh, the uh, metropolitan area, and uh, which is a privilege, you know, it's uh, to be in front of the camera, to be in front of, uh, of uh, millions of viewers, you know, is a great responsibility that I had for many years, for which I was very grateful to Telemundo and to the audience that really supported me. And this is a great honor just uh, to be recognized as one of the three kings, uno de los tres reyes magos, parte de nuestra cultura y nuestra tradición, yeah. muy importante. It is, and I wanted to ask you about that because, you know, you were here in the urban community. And, and just how do you feel about the, making sure that the next generation learns about this, even myself? Because I'm third generation, and I was not raised celebrating this holiday. Absolutely. Very important because, you know, Christmas time, we think about Santa Claus, right? Right. Yeah. 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 But then for all of us, you know, in the Caribbean, Okay, so it's very important you just to keep you know the tradition of the three kings uh, January 6th, el día de la epifanía, que es lo que realmente se celebra cuando los tres reyes magos trajeron los regalos de oro, incienso y mirra. So this is great because uh, because then what is it that we can teach our children that this is part of our culture and our tradition. 
for the sale that they do every year. Right. This is the 42nd annual, so they have been doing it for quite some time, and it's my absolute honor to be here presenting it for the first time ever on Facebook Live. You're on Facebook Live right, right. now. Yeah. Yes. And, and I thank you for educating us and giving us a background and, of course, sharing your personal feelings behind the celebration and your contributions. And, and I acknowledge you and I thank you for gracias. all the years. I grew up watching you. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. But you were just a baby. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Muchas gracias. Encantado. Y ahora viene otra de las uh, honorees, otra de las reinas. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Seguro que sí. Pues encantado. Un placer. Y vamos a estar desfilando junto con toda la comunidad aquí en el mundo. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you at the parade, right? And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bravo. Ah, bravo. Bravo. All right, good. So, uh, oh, great. We're going to... This is interesting. I love this because although we are celebrating three kings, we have a woman, right, representing a king. And so... Um, I'm going to introduce to you, she is actually the Chancellor, right, of Board of Regents, Dr. Betty Rosa, and uh, if you could just come and show us your amazing costume by, once again, Emilio <laughs> Sosa, and uh, congratulations. And I really want to open up with just the, this whole concept of honoring a woman as a king, well, a queen representing a king, how about that? Um, well, in this... In so I'm just going to ask you, right, guys, this is a behind the scenes moment. No, 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 I'm just, because we want to make sure that they hear you. Okay. So are you, I want you to speak up a little louder. Well, the acoustics are eating up our, our, our voices, so, yeah. Okay. So anyway, so for young... Like tall Puerto Rican, oh, like through okay, the walls. Oh, okay, okay. So <laughs> for our young girls... Oh, right, right, right. Um, and our young women aspiring, uh, not only in terms of, of kings, but also uh, taking their rightful place at the, at the table. I'm, I am the first Latina um, chancellor, a, a female, uh, in 243 years. We've had two females, but I am the first Latina on the Board of Regents in 243 years in this state. And thank you for sharing that because I think it's important that they understand that you live and you walk the walk of a queen. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> That's it. I'm referencing you as a queen today. Thank you didn't you. know you're representing a king. And, and thank you for sharing that knowledge because I think it's important that we all understand our, our, our community and, and that we have a lot of people that are in certain positions that are, may not be in the media but are here, present, and accessible to you. Thank you. Well, and we are responsible uh, for all the education uh, uh, colleges. And by the way, we are we oversee museums and libraries uh, in the Board of Regents. And a lot of people don't, you know, they usually think of us as just uh, education. But uh, we do oversee the museums and the, uh, you know, higher education in terms of colleges. So it's an exciting uh, exciting place to be to do the kind of work we do. Well, and we thank you for doing that. I have one last question now. How do you feel about, or rather, how important is it that these schools participate in today's event? Because I understand there are a lot of schools that actually come in the middle of their school day, their school day this parade. Well, the, the key thing to all of this is, is really connecting with our culture and connecting with the celebrations that are very specific to uh, our people. And um, when schools acknowledge and when schools celebrate and when schools make every effort, as I know the Chancellor of New York City um, is very committed to the cultural responsiveness. Um, and this is one example of how schools can say, Presente, you know, and uh, being in the motion, as they say. Yes, and that's coming from the chat. <laughs> that's lovely, lovely. Presente, Dr. Betty Rosa. Thank you. We'll see you at the parade. You look fabulous. I know you're a king, but I'm still going to call you queen all day. Because you're a queen. Oh, yeah. To how many? 
are to two young men that are often referred to me as mom queen. I love it. We love them. You raised them well. You raised them well. Thank you. Love that. Yes, 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 yes. We're live, you see, I told you guys. We're gonna have this in and out, and um, you. Hi, Ron, I'm so glad you were able to come. Um, so this is our third king, and um, our third king is used to being behind the cameras, so we weren't sure if we were gonna get him to be in front of the cameras. He's a photographer and a documenter here in El Barrio for very many years. He, He's also uh, a former director here at the Museo del Barrio. And so please, if you may, join us. Hiram Maristani. Bravo. I did? I said it correctly? Good, thank God. <laughs> I wasn't sure because I was like, Maristani. Lovely costume. How do you feel wearing that? I'm going to ask you just because uh, we're on Facebook Live and the acoustics here. If I know you're generally either a soft spoken and a gentleman. I know. But if we can just raise the volume a little bit, just. I want them to hear what you're saying because everything you're saying is, is something that they should take away with them. Okay, I appreciate that. It's not my nature. I know it. <laughs> I know I hear you. I, I just I'm just trying to make sure that they hear you. I try to speak very little. I try to have my accent speak for me. Okay. Right. That's why I speak right. Is that why you, you're primarily behind the scenes? comfortable doing behind the scenes because it's about uh, acknowledging and honoring the history of our community. A lot of history. And unfortunately, it was not documented. A lot of people didn't know they were participating in historical events and moments. And I was very blessed to document. That's why very little talk and rhetoric is well, I thank you for taking a moment to do it and share it with us because I think it's important that they know who you are because you are the man behind all of these images that has been documenting all these years and um, and you're, they're priceless, right? They're, they're museum caliber. So um, the fact that you're being honored by a museum that you were a former director of is another factor that I'm sure people don't know. This institution is very important to me. I hope it's very important to our community. This community, this institution has done something that I think all of us should be very proud of. This is the first art institution that did not emanate from traditional art institutions. This came out of a community of poor people. This came out of a community of people of color. This came out of a community of non-traditional museum goers. We were educating ourselves, we were identifying our cultural roots, we were including people who have been excluded, specifically the Tainos and African elements in our traditions. Mm -hmm. This institution has been pioneering for its last 50 years, and it hopefully will continue to be pioneering and welcome all of us, not just a few elite. But all of our communities should feel at home here at all times. So I'm hoping to uh, contribute to that. And you're doing a fine job of it. And again, we thank you for stopping by and sharing all, all that knowledge. I mean, thank you for those golden nuggets. And we'll be seeing you at the parade. Congratulations.